Hey people, it's not Astoki. This is from Black Past. So this is Black. So episode of Black History. It's the, the Demerara Rebellion of 1823. The Demerara Rebellion of 1823 was an uprising involving more than 10,000 enslaved people in the Crown Colony of Demerara Esequibo, now part of Guyana, on the coast of South America. The rebellion took place on August 18th, 1823, and lasted two days. No particular incident sparked the rebellion. The enslaved simply grew tired with their servitude and sought to resist in the most direct ways they could. Planning for the rebellion back on began on August 17th, 1823, a plantation success, one of the largest in the area, estates in the area. Two leaders emerged during the planning period, Jack Gladstone, a co cooper on plantation success, and his father, Kwamina, a senior deacon at a church led by English Protestant missionary John Smith. Gladstone and others planned the uprising, but Kwamina objected to any bloodshed and suggested instead that the enslaved should go on strike. Kwamina and other leaders visited John Smith, informing him of his son's plans. Smith urged the enslaved to remain peaceful, exercise patience, and wait for new laws that reduce their suffering. Kwamina carried Smith's message back to the plantations. Kwamina's call to remain peaceful fell on deaf ears. The enslaved on plantation success rebelled the next evening, August 18th, 1823, and attempted to seize all firearms on the plantation. They locked up the whites during the night, planning to release them when their demands were met. They did not see the rebellion as a challenge of slavery itself, but demanded better treatment for enslaved people in Demerara Esequibo. Most of the enslaved remained loyal to their masters, and enslaved house servant Joseph Packwood told his owner John Simpson about the planned revolt before it began. Simpson in turn involved, informed Governor John Murray, who rode out to confront the rebels with the militia. The enslaved demanded their rights, but Governor Murray ordered them to return to their plantations. When they refused, he declared martial law. Some returned to their plantations, while others participated in the rebellion. Only a handful of whites were killed during the Demerara Rebellion. The rebels locked up owners, managers, and overseers on 37 plantations who did not flee to Georgetown, the colonial capital, when the rebellion began. Large numbers of Christian slaves refused to rebel and helped suppress those who rose up. Other enslaved people confronted their owners and military forces sent against them. On Bachelor's Adventure Plantation, approximately 2,000 slave pe people confronted Lieutenant Colonel John Lay and his militia. When the slave refused Lay's orders to disperse, he commanded his troops to fire into the crowd. Approximately 200 people were killed. Although the rebellion ended on Tuesday, August 19th, the punishment that came after was severe. Hundreds of rebels were hunted down and killed, including 200 who were beheaded as a warning to other enslaved people. Forty rebels were hastily tried and sentenced to be hanged. Governor Murray commuted their sentences and had them deported elsewhere in the Caribbean. Jack Gladstone was deported to St. Lucia. His father, Kamina, who had argued against the revolt, was tracked down by dogs and Indians and killed in September 1823. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. I'll leave this source in the description. If you'd like to support the channel, you might go find me in the description. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it there as well. Peace.